welcome to Bushel. How can I help you? Hey, Cleo, it's Ryan. Okay, I'll let you in. All right, thank you. See, that's how I get in every day. Because I forgot my key. How Jake and I eventually came to meet is uh, we had, well, we were both working on um, mobile application development companies separate of each other. Uh, we were then competing with each other. And at some point we were like, the town of Fargo is not big enough for the both of us. So we decided to work together. And from there, we ended up forming what came, what is now eventually a bushel. You know, over the last, you know, 10, 10 years, whatever it's been, building and, and leading a company like Bushel, um, my favorite part has always been not only just the, the people, and but like when people come together and they start to create and they start to innovate and they start to think about, oh my gosh, we can do X, Y, and Z. And then that translates into serving some purpose uh, in the industry. You know, if I can wrap a lot of this in, wrap, you know, the family and dad's legacy into something that helps Bushel, which helps the industry, that's super cool. On days like today, where uh, we've had rain over the weekend, I'm constantly monitoring how much rain, I'm looking at forecasts. And on top of just understanding, okay, how much rain did I get? You know, when, when am I thinking about like the logistics of farming to get back going out in the field and what needs to happen and who needs to be there and what needs to, to, to resolve to, to get out there and meet those kind of time windows. Uh, I think like, when I was maybe 10, maybe younger, I was like super interested in, in farming. I would do what every kid did. I would farm the whole living room, carpet farming. And so as early as I could, I was begging, begging dad to let me sit in the tractors or to, by the time I was 10, to just let me drive them on my own. It's quite the difference. Out of there. I broke a knibbler pin here. I think I just got Oh, you just, that just goes, that's just a seal, it goes back on. Yeah. Slipped on. What's a knibbler pin? This, obviously. There you go, knibbler pin fixed. It's right next to the muffler belt. Oh, okay. Damon Larson, been here at Bushel for going on five years now. This year, when Ryan asked if I wanted to jump in and learn some things, I was uh, very excited to do so. Last year, it was about one year ago, uh, Brad was in the hospital and uh, it's kind of a, uh, the office mascot and he was recovering over at the hospital relatively close to the office and we were over uh, having lunch with him and I was sitting there and the excitement on Brad's face was, uh, it excited me and it wasn't because of, of where he was in his position but it was because his son was back on the farm having to make decisions for the very first time. And you could see that excitement about a generational transfer of knowledge. And as we sat there, Ryan called two if not 20 times to ask the, the little things. Where's this bolt? Where's this tool? How do I do this? Ryan had been along for the ride his whole life, but he had never made those, those uh, top line decisions. And he was doing it for the first time. And I got to see that organically in real time. And there's something very exciting about that. Can you open those little doors back up? There you go. Perfect. First year out of the gate, um, prices aren't that great. Right now, my uh, grain marketer was bugging me. Now's a good time to sell. And, and it's really tight, so I gotta watch it really closely, so. That's where Bushel Farm comes in. Keeps me dialed into dialed into the my what I've spent so far, what I plan on spending, when the markets are at, when the profitability is. So I gotta watch that like a hot.
that break off? Only a little bit of damage. You want to weld it? Yeah. Well, we could. Yeah, we could run down and weld it quick. No, this is just such a great training ground. It's such a great way to bring partners out here, uh, bring coworkers out here, bring investors out here, and just kind of really get to, you know, understand, the more you can understand the person or the role or the, you know, the work of, of the people you're trying to develop software for, the better it's just gonna be. And so the more we can use this opportunity to, you know, not only not only help and teach Bushel Bushel employees, but partners and investors, and also, you know, and also the the the, the better side of agriculture, like what it's really all about, what it really all takes. I use Bushel White Label Bushel Mole Lab, we do on Call Elevator, great people. And then I also uh, I also use Bushel Wallet, so I've, wow is that convenient. So I use, I try to convince all my, uh, all my, all my vendors to use Bushel Wallet. It's holy smokes, is it, is it just super nice to, super nice to be able to just dial that baby in and, and hit the button and make, pay for my bills that way. When we're working with all this stuff in this control box and the iPad and it's all going in the cloud. It's um, it's as automated as auto steer. So I've got my hands in the air, tractor's driving itself. Um, all that all that stuff, the activities that I'm doing, uh, it all goes right into Bushel Farm. It pulls out the seeds that I've taken out of um, planting as it's measuring them with a the laser, pulling them out of inventory, catching them to the field. So uh, yeah, push the farm's automated as auto scare. They asked uh, a farmer wins a lottery, and so the media asks asks them, uh, "What uh, what are you going to do with all the money?" And he says, uh, "I'm going to farm till it's all gone." He's got the best beard in the county. Best and beard in as the he county. moves counties, he also has the best spirit in that county, whatever county he goes to.